So what connectivity brings to the consumer, I think, um, are features which are going to be uh, bringing improvements in safety um, and convenience primarily, um, with lots of knock-on effects like improved emissions, reduced congestion. Um, I mean, we've seen features today where you can find a parking space without having to drive around, so there's clearly a direct benefit to the, the driver there. Um, but also, if you think about it, a lot of driving around looking for parking spaces is generating lots of local pollution. Um, and also lots of local congestion. So um, you know, lots of potential for these, uh, these features to impact our lives on, on, in lots of different ways. I think, I think there, there are benefits to the local environment, as I mentioned, um, and also you know, traffic flow. Um, if the traffic light can tell you, um, please slow down a bit and you won't have to stop. All of these things are improving traffic flow and all of these things mean that the, uh, the council can then plan junctions more efficiently and you know, I think long term this is, this is the way things are good to go. So it's difficult to put an uh, exact timeline um, on this um, but uh, in the near future uh, V2X uh, features are going to become part of the NCAP um, suite of requirements um, and that means that um, that's going to influence the end cap stars that a manufacturer gets for their cars and that means that consumers are going to buy the car so you know once you start to get that kind of pull then manufacturers will start to put the functions in and I think in general there's, there's more awareness of connectivity in the world internet of things for example um, that's cascading down into cars and you know when consumers become more savvy um, that's when manufacturers are going to start putting the functions in There's um, probably a little bit of work to do around regulation. There are organisations in Europe and the US who are standardising specifications. Um, I think um, councils need to put infrastructure in and that will happen gradually as infrastructure is renewed and so on. Um, but I think uh, the technology itself is, is really nothing new and it's just down to, um, you know, once some manufacturers start putting it in, then everybody else will put it in and there'll be a critical mass and pretty soon it'll be everywhere. I mean, inevitably, there is a cost by putting more hardware in. Um, hardware manufacturers are developing DSRC chips, so you know, that cost is going to come down as the volume goes up. Um, potentially, also, there's going to be new revenue streams, um, perhaps uh, people's data or you know, advertising and so on, and then some of that could be paying for some of the hardware in some way, but I think the, the business model is something that, that needs to be worked out, yes. I think, you know, the UK is not going to have its own uh, set of specifications for this. Um, like a lot of areas, uh, I'd imagine that there will continue to be cooperation between the UK and uh, Europe on this.